Hey butterflies, just wanted to come on and kind of tell you how the second infusion, <laughs> gotta keep up with this, second infusion first day went. Um, just to kind of give you a little bit of insight, I no nausea, I still went on and did my smoothie this morning with some ginger root um, and then did me a ginger root tea uh, with some crystals in it. When I got home, um, ate normal. Um, I did not feel, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, I did not taste any saline or anything or any metal, but it's some kind of chemicals coming out in my urine. Don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's the chemo. Might be the saline, but it is strong. <laughs> it is strong. Um, I did have a little bit of leg pain that was creeping in. And so she told me I could take ibuprofen up to 600 milligrams and alternate it with Tylenol as needed. So, she wants me to take the ibuprofen if I need it no earlier than eight hours. And then, if I needed the Tylenol, take that um, in that four-hour increment. And they act independently, so the eight hours would start from the first eight hours of the ibuprofen. And then, the, the four hours would, you know, be alternating. Um, one, the reason being is, is that one of them can damage your liver. One of them can damage your kidneys. So she wants to alternate them. So it's not heavy on one or the other. Um, but I took a hundred milligrams and then I was done. I haven't had anything. My... A part of me honestly wants to take just, you know, some Tylenol PM um, just to make sure that I can go to sleep. But I decided against it because I'm not really feeling any pain. And um, I'm feeling like, you know, you stretch your muscles and that it's almost like a, a airy feeling in your muscles, almost like air on your joints or something i feel that but it's not hurting it just kind of feels weird um so i decided not to take anything um trying to think of anything else nothing else no headaches no nausea no diarrhea no um vomiting thank god um and that's it i only have one tea today so I'll drink me some more tea in the morning. Um, I really don't want anything else tonight. Um, normal dinner. Eat some Chinese food. My taste buds are still here. So just wanted to tell you. So day one after the infusion. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow and tell you how it went. Love you, butterflies. All right, butterflies. It is day two. Um, I hadn't had any side effects. Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you, God. Um, no side effects. I was, uh, not even sluggish, not enough. I laid down and I think I laid down on purpose because, um, I was determined that I was going to rest. So, but no side effects, no nothing. Um, I did take my post meds i have to take that two pills today and then two pills in the morning two pills in the afternoon or evening for on sunday and monday messed it up last week don't know what i was reading <laughs> and i only took it saturday morning and then saturday morning saturday evening logged it in everything uh, I don't know how I didn't read that second day. I don't know, but, um, my labs and stuff were good. So I was okay. Um, but reading is fundamental. <laughs> uh, I'm in good spirits. 
Um, like I said, I left out of here earlier. Um, of course, mask down and two filtered down. <laughs> I got two filters in there. I ain't playing. Um, and had to return some stuff to UPS. Um, came back home and put some pajamas on and um well took a shower and then put my pajamas on i guess i need to let y'all know all of my business <laughs> um and then just kind of relaxed um that's it honestly thank god so i will talk to you guys tomorrow on day three all right love you butterflies bye-bye Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam. Today is day three. And um I don't know. Today was a more of a mental day than it was like physically. Um everybody and everything has gotten on my nerves. <laughs> so I was a little, I guess, moody is the word short was another word that i heard um yeah everybody's getting on my nerves so um i have or had a little bit of it wasn't like even full blown nausea but it is something i don't know i don't know what it is but i did take um, I did drink some ginger tea this morning. I ended up doing two ginger chews and ended up with a ginger ale this evening for dinner. I've been drinking a lot of water as much as I possibly can. Um, I think I'm going to start doing some detox. Um, I got some of that clay that everybody, facial clay that everybody uses. So maybe I'll do a detox video. I did order um, a foot spa um, with some Epsom salt. There was a doTERRA um, essential oil that the young lady said. And Epsom salt. I don't know what else it was. Maybe it was baking soda. I don't know. I'll have to look. But anyway, I took a snapshot of it and saved it. So, I'm going to do that. Um, that facial clay, I forgot what it's called. I'll have to show y'all, but um, they were also saying that they put it under their armpits so that, um, I guess the lymphoids are under there. So, to detox that out. So, we're going to try that. Um, see how that goes. But other than those two things, that's it. Um, I'm not like, I'm not like, I just seem a little out of whack. I don't know what that is though, but um, I am going to go walking in the morning. So hopefully that will make me feel a little better. And, of course, have to go do the biopsy tomorrow. Yay! Yeah. So, that was from the... This might be the originating spot. Maybe the one that didn't come on the original um, mammogram. So, they found another spot. I think two spots on the MRI. And I'm not really surprised by it because they originally told me that the place that the uh, the the original one that they biopsied is not normal for it to originate there. It usually originates in the milk ducts and then it kind of flicks off and that's where it was in my lymph node. So not really surprised by it, but, you know, if we're going to cut the booby off, I don't understand why we have to biopsy it but i think they just kind of want to know what they're dealing with which you know how can you tell if you got it all if you don't know what you're dealing with so 
they'll plug me up again with another little marker onto titanium marker um just to i guess mark the spot <sighs> um after my first biopsy i think i would have so much anxiety from going to get it and it wasn't as bad as you know it actually happening so I'm hoping that this will be the same radiologist and um, she will have the same guided hands that she had before um, and I just asked them to cover the tools so I don't have to see them I just I don't want to see any of that stuff um, do what you got to do let's get on in here and get on out and you know it is what it is so Hopefully, I will have the information by next. Mm, they usually took them about two days, so maybe by Wednesday. But then I have a meeting next Tuesday with the surgeon. So we'll, you know, be able to go over it in detail when I, um, when I get to her office. So I will keep you guys posted on that. And um, today is day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, day three. So we'll check in tomorrow. Love you, butterflies. Hey, butterflies, it's your girl, Pam. Um, decided to come on here really quick. Um, today is Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. And so I wanted to come on. Honestly, I can't even remember if I came on yesterday. Which is Monday. Um, but I did go walking on Monday. Felt pretty good. I still haven't had anything. Um, I am having a little bit of like itching. Not too much. I did take some ibuprofen. No. Yeah. Ibuprofen last night um i'm itching today a little bit um trying to stay as moisturized as i possibly can um i did a detox on my feet um i had my biopsy yesterday also um and i told you i'm gonna do a this is my second one so i'm gonna do a biopsy um video just to kind of give y'all an insight um in case you have to go through this um yeah cuz I, I don't it sounds scary and i'm not saying that there's you know it depends on your doctor and how steady their hands are and all of that good stuff but i ended up with the same doctor so um i think it will um, hopefully benefit somebody if they got to go through it so they have a little bit of insight. But other than that, um, I really haven't had any problems. My, I'm not as hungry. I can't eat as much, um, which, you know, <laughs> that might be a good thing. But I don't want my, you know, my levels to go down and compromise me having to skip a week. I did go ahead and start. I read that um, coconut, coconut, coconut juice, coconut water was good to help with your white blood count. So um, I added that in and I didn't realize it had that much protein, but that's a good thing. So I did a half a bottle of that, half a bottle of protein, Premier, Premier protein. Um, and some fruit and um, some super greens, that powder from um, green, I think it's back green. Um, no, um, Timmy, Timmy. So I did that. Um, I tried to eat a little bit of Chinese food today, ate the rice. I had two wings in there and I put one wing back in my thing. So I've been eating off of that for, it's my second time and I still got a whole thing left. Um, since I had to get my booby, 
um, stuck not once but twice. <laughs> the first one was in the actual breast at the 230 mark. And then the other one, that one did hurt a little bit more. I can't even feel the one in my breast, but the other one was in my lymph nodes. And so I had to, um, they had to go a little bit deeper in that. So that one hurt just a little bit more. Um, but since I had to get my boobie stuck twice on Valentine's Day, and I don't have a Valentine, uh, <laughs> I decided today, I went by Longhorn and got me, oh, that strawberry salad. This is the best. And um, chicken parmesan. And, you know, it's in the refrigerator because I, I ate the salad. Um, ate a piece of bread. And that was it. I didn't want anything else. So, um, we'll eat on that through the week until we're done. Um, alternate with that and the rest of the Chinese food. But that's it. I really haven't had any problems. Um you know nothing out of the ordinary so here goes your walking miracle thank you god um give him all the glory oh and one more thing for my dave ramsey folks i paid off my car today i paid my vehicle off <laughs> i paid it off 22 months early took my taxes everything i'm going through that was the last thing i need to worry about it was a, a bill so if I can eliminate one, that's what I, I wanted to do. I've been working to get it down um, for about a year and a half. Been working, you know, every when I get extra money or whatever, I would just throw it to the principal. And today it paid off. So today is a wonderful, wonderful day. So um, I'll check in with y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. So I'll check in with y'all tomorrow and see how I'm feeling. We'll pray that I'm still feeling good, but we're still kicking. <laughs> All right, butterflies. We'll see you later. All right, butterflies. I um, just finished another video for you guys um, talking about my biopsy, but I also wanted to go ahead and kind of jump on here and tell you guys what's been going on um, as far as my second week of chemo. This is day five. Day six. Let's see. Friday, Saturday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day six. Um, I have noticed my skin is definitely changing. Um, I cannot keep hydrated enough. Um, so I'm trying to work on that um a lot. Um, I did go and get me some oil. Um, you know, I haven't lost any hair yet. I chose to cut this down. Um, and I, you know what? I think I'm going to drop it in here maybe. Maybe I'll do a separate one. I don't know. If y'all see it, y'all see it. If not, then you'll see it on another one. But I might drop it in. But I just got my hair cut. I had Brie cut it down and we colored it blue. And once we cross over, we'll go ahead and color it pink. Okay. Me keeping control here a little bit anyway. I ain't got much control over my life right now, but keeping a little control. But my baby is cutting it. Yay! Yay. So we're gonna cut it down for the last time. And then we're going to, what color are you putting in it? Blue. We're going to put blue in it. That's going to be the last color I'm going to be able to have for a long time. So, and it won't make a difference because I won't have no hair, but <laughs> this will be the last hurrah. Um, all right. Um, but I chose to cut it down, but I wanted to start working on my scalp just in case, you know that my hair comes out, I can at least condition and make sure that my um, hair is, excuse me, my scalp is moisturized. Um, let's see. I, I've been itching a little bit, still not enough for me to take medicine, but you know, and I don't know if they're gonna tell me to do like some Benadryl or something like that. So maybe that's what they'll end up doing. Um, I've noticed some blood just 
a little. It's not like a nosebleed, but some blood in my mucus, like when you blow your nose. So I've noticed that, and I don't normally get nosebleed, so I'm attributing it to the chemo. Um, today, I had an all-day training at work from like 9 to 4, and after lunch, I was like, God knows I'm not going to make it. Like, <laughs> I went walking on my lunch for 20 minutes. I came back. And I don't know. Maybe my breakfast was gone and maybe I needed to eat something. I don't know. But I was completely dragging. We had two afternoon, 10-minute um, meeting, not meetings, um, breaks. And I came and laid across my bed both times. And it was like... Oh my God, I have to get up and go do this again. So I barely made it to four o'clock, like barely, 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 but I made it. Um, so today was the first day that I felt a little like drained. Um, so I'm just going to relax the rest of the day, um, watch some mindless TV, um, and, um, hopefully feel a little bit better. I mean, it's not like I just feel like, oh my gosh, but I just, I don't feel myself. So we'll just figure that out. Maybe I just need to rest. Sometimes that's what you need to do. Just rest. So we'll check in tomorrow. Last day um, for this, uh, this little, like, I guess it's the last day for the second chemo visit. And then we'll go back and do chemo again on Friday. <laughs> and that was an early one. That's at 8 o'clock in the morning. So we'll see how that one works. All right. We'll see you later, butterflies. Hey, butterflies. It's your girl, Pam. I am coming here to do this last day of the second week of chemo. Um, today is Thursday February 17th, which is ironically on paper, the day that my mommy passed away, um, 19 years ago. So, um, mommy, I miss you. Um, and yesterday, um, if I'm 53, 51 years ago, my bad, my dad passed away. So maybe 50 years ago. Huh? I think so. Somewhere around there. But anyway, um, I wanted to come in, uh, come in. I wanted to come on and kind of share with you guys and let you know, um, yesterday and today have been a little bit of a, more of a struggle. You know, I've, I've been truly blessed and highly favored as far as these side effects are concerned. So I honestly, there's no complaints, but I did tell y'all that I was going to be honest with y'all and you know, share what the, you know, the, the, the different side effects are as they come about. But by no means, <laughs> no means am I, um, a woe is me or anything like that because God is good and I have not, it, it could be so much worse. So, but, um, I have been really, really, I was tired yesterday. I was tired today. Um, my energy level wasn't as high as it has been. Um, I felt like I was trying to share with one of my friends. It felt, it felt like when you're walking and a kid grabs onto your leg and they're trying to stop you from moving that, that it just felt like really dragged like that. Um, and then some pressure with urination, like I had to keep going to the bathroom. So I don't know if my sugar spiked or anything. Uh, I'm not, well, I'm on metformin, but I'm not like on any insulin or anything. So I don't know. Um, I felt like I was having some jitters. Well, I know I was having jitters with my, my hands this morning. But even like some little jumping in my heart. So I'm going to mention that to them. Um, I had some blood in my mucus, but it's not a full blown nosebleed or anything. Um, so uh, gotta mention that. And let's see, hot flash. <laughs> Mama had a hot flash, and I haven't had a hot flash. And I'm, you know, uh, postpartum. So not postpartum. Post. Um, 
What the thing called? Uh, yeah, when you're old. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. But, um, so, but I had a hot flash. Matter of fact, got the fan on right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, you know, like I said, in comparison to what it could be, thank God it has not been. Um, we do go tomorrow for uh, Infusion 3. Um, have to be there 8 o'clock in the morning. So, it's going to be an early morning. Um, I'll go ahead and get everything packed tonight. Um, I already made my smoothie. Cut up some ginger so I can um, drink some tea on the way home. Um, I do plan on driving. But I do have a little praise report. Um, the majority of it we already kind of knew, but I didn't want to share with you guys. I told you that they had started to shrink, which is a blessing, um, the two masses. Um, we did the biopsy on two of additional masses on Monday. The one that was at 2.30 on my breast, it was um, benign. And then the one that was in my lymph node, that one was malignant. But we kind of knew that, right? So we've got two malignants and then one benign. So, um, you know, we're going to just keep keep moving, keep focused, keep positive, um, keep sending those prayers, keep dropping those comments. I love you guys so much for doing that. Honestly, I sit and I read them and it encourages me. People that have had breast cancer, people who have no clue about it, but just want to, you know, send prayers for me and uh, and encouraging words. And God knows I appreciate every bit of it. So I thank you so much. Um, I appreciate everything. I'm just trying to think, is there anything else? I don't think so. So we're going to close this one out. Um, I'll take tomorrow as much as I can. Um, like I said, it's out in the open. So I don't take when I'm actually there. I may take a picture or something, but I don't necessarily take when I'm there because I don't want to, you know, fringe on anybody else's privacy because it's just one big open room. So, but wish me well. I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Do not forget to hit like. Don't forget that notification bell. And if you know of anybody that's going through this, please share it with them so that they know that they're not alone. All right, butterflies, I love you.